Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Sean here with another edition of Sean's Solo Let's Play. Uh, yeah, so I just uh, downloaded this game called Resonance uh, off of Steam. And uh, I was going to give it a shot, give it a try, figured I'd, you know, let you guys in on some of the fun. I think it's a point-and-click adventure game, like an old-school one. Uh, I do tend to kind of enjoy these games quite a bit, to be honest. Um, there's another game that came out like last year that was like an old school point and click called uh, Gemini Rue. I think it came out like last last summer, um, or maybe even before that. It might even have come out before that. But uh, it was a really good game. I really really enjoyed it. And uh, I and it's you know I had a cool like mystery sci-fi. This kind of seems like it's the same thing from what I saw in the trailer. So I was gonna give it a shot. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's get to it, shall we? Coming in from Zurich, bringing the total number of countries experiencing attacks over the last hour up to 12. And we are still waiting for word from our Washington Bureau since losing contact with them approximately 20 minutes ago. Explosions or some type of attacks have occurred in cities around the globe. The attacks are accompanied by power surges, large scale blackouts. At this time, we do not know the exact nature of these attacks, but they do not appear to be conventional explosives. Some have pointed oh. out this is still just How original. appear to resemble the incident that took place at the Juno Particle Accelerator in Aventine City on Sunday morning. Though authorities it's Modern Warfare, the point and click adventure. Incident. Yay! City could have had a America! Attacks is, at this point, Unknown. Uh, being told now we've established. So, 60 hours earlier. Not a day earlier. 60 hours. Oh, yeah, this is fully voice acted. That sound. Make it stop. Where is that noise coming from? Okay. Here we go. Where is that noise coming from? Hamper? Alarm clock? Sound isn't coming from my alarm clock. Hmm. I would definitely recognize that awful sound. Besides, I don't set my alarm on Sundays because I like to fucking sleep. Yo. Let's check the computer. Beeping isn't coming from the computer. I'm still happily crunching away at the particle physics simulation I wrote. <laughs> I'm so smart. I'm such a smart guy. The sound is louder over here. Nothing but a dirty pair of pants and some socks. But I swear, the sound got even louder. I think the sound is coming from my pants. It was my cell phone. I must have left it in there when I took them off last night. I guess I didn't recognize the ring. I don't exactly get a lot of calls. Damn it. The battery is dead. Great way to start a Sunday morning. I've got a spare battery in my drawer. I should still be charged. Yes. Okay. Where's your drawer in your weird house, man? Fucking depressing. Fucking depressing. Computer. The computer is busy crunching numbers. I shouldn't interrupt it. Hmm. Um, a drawer. Okay. Drawers. Drawer as. The drawer is locked. Now, where'd I leave that key? <laughs> it is so... This is old school. I finished these equations last night. Mm, so smart. Should hold on to the page with the results. Got it. No problem. Mini fridge, microwave, key. Got that key. Mini fridge. We'll check it out just because we're here. Nothing inside. I suppose that would require actually buying something to refrigerate. Oh, okay. The drawer is locked. Okay, uh, inventory key. To use an inventory item on something in the room, just drag the item out of your inventory and drop it on the target object. Okay. Uh, drawers. That's right. What? That's silly. Inventory key. Drawers. There we go. Unlocked. There's my spare battery. 
phone battery. So what do I do? Put these together. I'll just swap out the battery. That did it! Huzzah! It's, it's nice jazz music here. Uh, Ed Cell. Who should I call? Check the caller ID. Last call here is from a local number. Wait, that's the number for the lab! It's probably Dr. Morales! But what's he doing there so early? And on a Sunday? I better find out what's up. Dr. Morales, did, uh, you just call me? Eddings? Ed. Yeah, it's me. Oh, good. Listen, I need <laughs> your help with something. Now? It's like 6.30 in the morning. On a Sunday. Is it? Hell yeah, it is. I didn't wake you up, did I? No, I, I was already up. <laughs> You're a terrible liar, Ed. That's what I, I would know. That's exactly so, what I what would say. Like, no, I've been up for a while. I need you to confirm something. Did you finish those equations I gave you on Friday? Yeah, just last night, actually. Good. Do you have the results? Uh, when the dialog box is open, you can left-click any item from your inventory to select it as a topic of conversation. It's notes. Got them right here. How close were our estimates? Spot on. There's definitely an inverse relationship between attraction and proximity. Dr. Morales, you still with me? I'm here. It's truly astonishing, and wait until you see my proof. You were right all along. This is a vindication of... I'm going to destroy them. Them? What? I'll search the data, the results. Uh -oh. I'm destroying it all. But Resonance, it's your life's work. It's you can't just... The title I've of the here game! I've thinking about it. This isn't a scientific or a mathematical dilemma. It's an ethical one. Oh. And trust me. I much prefer my problems to be hypothesized, tested, and quantified. Oh You're wrong. goodness! It is math. Everything is. The potential for good far outweighs the possibility of misuse. You can't deprive the world of such danger. Someone's been following me, Eddings. I know it. Just please don't destroy anything yet. I'll come in right now. I'm on my way. Wait for me. <laughs> Now I just have to perform the difficult task of putting pants on. Old school adventure style. I do, I love these games. I have like a real, real soft spot in my heart for these kind of games. I love that they're just, they're ridiculous and, okay. I don't, hmm, interesting. Um, well, we'll do this one, how's that? Oh. He's coming! Gotta hide, gotta hide fast. Or get away. Uh. Chest. Let's do it. Uh. Uh, open chest. Nope, nope. Must have it written down somewhere. Maybe he can help me. God damn it. God damn it. Wait. I remember something. Wait. I didn't lock the door. No. I hope that slows him down. Okay. Uh, this is kind of freaking me out. It's gonna break in. Gotta hurry. Under the bed. Sure. Let's do that. Oh, shit. Junk. Just some junk. I don't need it now. Vent cover. Vent cover. Vent cover! It's no use. I can't move it. Oh, that's... Click on log... Long-term memory to recall the event. The bear's key. Yeah, but... There. All done. Now you have the key to my treasure. Keep it safe, okay? Oh, that's... Right click to examine. Take a closer look. Wait, there's something ready on his tag. 165. Alright, we got it. So we got that fucking... Uh, 
Man, this is kind of giving me some anxiety. <laughs> Freak out. 165. What was it? It was one. Six. Five. Open chest. What? Five nine one, you fucker. <laughs> ah! God damn it. It's gonna get me. This fucking monster or something. Uh, uh Take it too long, bitch. Uh, I think I got it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Get in that it's my treasure. Get in your goddamn I, I remember. Javik's gift. Uh, yeah. Let's fucking check it out. What a beat, sorry. Wow, it's like a million dollars. <laughs> not quite, and they're not dollars. They're pesos. <laughs> so you know they're not worth it. Every day I was away. That's three hundred and sixty-five of them. It's not a lot, but if you save them, maybe someday they can help you when you need it. Uncle Javi, don't go away again. I'm not going anywhere, Anna. Fucking kidding me. Under bed. Go. Go. He's gonna get us. He's going to get us. Now! Uh, inventory. 365 pesos. Uh, vent cover. That's it. I know how. Uh. Wait. Wait. What do you mean? Uh. Give me the. Ah! I think I just failed. No, no, he's here. Uh, inventory. Yeah. Okay. But I beat. Uh, that's three hundred. It's not a lot, but. Uncle, ha don't go away. I'm not going anywhere, Anna. Te prometo. Well, he's not here now, Anna. So. Good God. No scary business there. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's just rewinding. Because <laughs> we gotta do it again. Because we fucked it up. <laughs> we fucked it up. He's coming! Gotta hide fast. Well, let's lock this door first. Or get away. Yeah, that's right. Lock it. Okay. Alright. Let's make sure. Maybe he can help me. Maybe he can. Inventory. Give me that. Let me open it. Wait. I remember something. Bear's key. Uh. Hey, All now done. You to keep it okay, okay, okay. We remember. We remember. Uh, fucking. Wait, there's something written on his tag. Still the same. Make sure it wasn't some fucking weird randomized crap. He's gonna break in. Gotta hurry. Chest. Okay. God damn it. Oh no no no. Ah. Five, nine, one. Whew. Don't go past it. Think I got it. It's my treasure. I remember. What do you, what do, you do? You give this monster money? I mean but a team is wow. okay. <laughs> I no. put one as 300 and it's not a lot, but Uncle Javi, don't go away again. I'm not going anywhere, and they prometo. Well, maybe if you like inventory, shit, pictures for that, pictures, bed. No, he'd find me, yeah, he would find you, he'd find you right away. Damn it. Why, what's, I just need some junk. I don't need it now. Vent cover. 
It's no use, I can't move it. Inventory. Use the pesos somehow. That's it. I know how to open it. How to open the vent. But I can't do it with a jar. Uh junk. Junk. Okay. You wanna let me in on this, man? This uh this plan here, this lady? Senior board, but he's probably not. How do I open the fucking jar? Inventory. Is there a way? Uncle Javi said these would help me when I need it. I need it now. I mean, toy. There we go. Oh, you bastard. Come here. Ugh. Use it to open the damn thing. Let's go! I think it's loose enough to crawl in and escape. Yes! Success! Better get going. Uh, uh, there we go. Oh no. Oh. It was a dream. Huh. Okay, that's that's her. Oh, okay. Cause there's four different characters. Just so you know. Dawn in Aventine City. The sun's beams glide between the buildings like a man's strong fingers through a dame's hair. <laughs> the sight made me realize just how long I've been out here. Some low-level cat burglar caught breaking into the computer chip factory uptown had named this post office as a contact point for his buyer. Normally I'd say this wasn't the kind of lead that warranted an all-night stakeout, but the chief's dogged insistence that I drop this case pretty much guaranteed I was going to follow it through. Oh, Why did she want me off this case so bad? Could the chief have some connection to this criminal organization? <gasps> I had a lot of questions, and my oh. gut was telling me exactly two things. Not the chief. One, that I was hungry. And two, that it was Reggie's turn to go get some donuts. Uh, no. I got us those sandwiches a couple hours ago, remember? Yeah, but you didn't get the donuts. Not having it. So, how did you get the chief to sign off on this stakeout? Oh, right. About that. If anyone asks, we were patrolling the neighborhood around the arson all night. I'm not gonna get reprimanded for this, am I? Relax, Reg. Sir! Depends if you're a punk. <laughs> He's got some shifty eyes. What are you doing? That guy came from the alley. We don't have visibility down there. Which means, when he leaves, we're gonna lose him. I've got to get us a better line of sight. How are you gonna do that without them seeing you? I don't know. I'll grow some eyes in the back of my head. This is against regulations. Pfft, it's crazy you're out of the military now, Reg. This is police work. Sometimes you gotta pick which orders you're gonna follow. And other times, you gotta make your own orders. Detective Bennett. <laughs> Going radio silent. Be careful. Whatever, Reg. Dodge SUV. I can't leave. I've got to figure out where this hoodlum is headed. And to do that, I've got to find a way to keep an eye on the alley without him noticing. Well, I don't need a commander vehicle. Graffiti. I'm a little too busy to start scrubbing. Trash. As a cop, I know I'm supposed to clean up the streets, but I ain't touching that. Besides, I can't see anything in there that might be useful. I've got to make my own rules. Shop door. Nope, locked. A stripped car. Even if I didn't need a vehicle, I wouldn't take this one. It doesn't even have any wheels. Oh, very observant, sir. This guy's a fucking serious cop, man. Newspaper vendor. Online news site of the Abbott Post claims that evidence of Vice President Bruckman's struggle with mental illness. Just 325 to read more. Rumor and gossip. Reprinting a blog. Newspapers are trying harder and harder to stay relevant. Oh, nice little dig there, buddy. Uh, do I want to go in the alley? Is that what I'm... I feel like... Well... Hmm. Interesting. Because I shouldn't go in the alley, right? I mean, that would be stupid. Not yet. Not until this punk comes out.
Alright, no time to think. I better get going. Go with my gut. Do I go in? Sure, we'll go in. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> That's fucking rough. That is some rough shit. Uh, alright. Do I go in? No, no you don't. <laughs> no, I'm not supposed to engage the target. Just watch him. I've got to make sure I see where he goes when he leaves. I'm going to say... This seems like the best place to sit. It's like to do it. Not really sure what I was expecting there. Bench. Chillax, I guess. I oh, fuck fine. Inventory, Bennett's wallet. Um uh, boring regular empty wallet. Nowadays it just holds my badge, my credit card. My trust revolver. And nothing. Hmm. Um. Shit. Ah, fuck it. I guess it'll just take me right back here if I ended up getting shot. I'm dying. Not a lot of places could have come from. Through the doors over the fence, I've got to find a way to watch him when he leaves. No place to hide back here, though. Too small. I could try to contain my disappointment. Door X, door X, where? Fence. To watch the target, I don't think he sure he came. So uh, I'm not climbing over unless he goes first. I have to see the windows. Besides, might have from this door and walking straight into the criminal's hideout isn't really part of stakeout. Stakeout. Seems like the only really viable option. So we can't go in there because we get shot. Uh, beach under asphalt. This is as far as it lets you go. Hmm. I think it would let you. Hmm. Climbing shoes. Hmm. Hmm. That's what we do. It's not going to break off in my hands. I'll need to apply a bit more force. <laughs> okay. Uh. Maybe there is something in that trash. Shop door, crumbling bricks. Yeah, that's right. Piece of brick. Okay, so we know. We know what to do now. Piece of brick. That car mirror. A little ding. Huda. Up that car mirror. Now we're gonna get our ass. Get your ass to Mars. Uh, yeah, yeah. No inventory. Car mirror on the bench. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's definitely what you gotta do. Definitely what you gotta do. What do I do? Do I just wait? That's a pretty good view. But a guy carrying a mirror is going to stick out like a sore thumb. Gotta fix that. Uh, okay. I'm not sure what to do with this. Hmm. Hmm. Mount it? So, oh, we can do that, but I gotta carry it. That's, that's, that's a pretty good view. <laughs> I 
okay. Feeding. I mean, there's. Right. Right. Hmm. Fuck if I know. It's not a good way to use it. Okay, buddy. It's not getting me anywhere. Hmm. Then where the fuck would you... Just put it on the goddamn ground, man? Uh, you know it's something so fucking stupid and simple. I have no idea. Start doing shit. That's not gonna get me anywhere. Bus stop. Hmm. Piece of brick. Hmm. Guy sitting there holding a mirror is not gonna help. You just pull your car out to the other side of the street, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. on here couldn't just make it simple huh stripped car doesn't even have wheels interesting interesting fucking dilemma we got going on here I haven't seen a goddamn thing that would make this what do you do man Hmm. No fucking way. It's not getting me anywhere. Car mirror graffiti. Car mirror graffiti. Car mirror. Fucking ground. Nope. Car mirror news vendor. <laughs> oh my god! What to do? Hmm. Okay. What am I not doing? Okay, what does he say? Well, let's, let's pay real close attention, everybody. What does he say? About this fucking. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, okay. Got that. What does he say? That's a pretty good view, but a guy carrying a mirror is going to stick out like a sore thumb. Gotta fix that. I wonder if I'm not sitting on there, if it does anything different. Nope. Nope. Man. That's a pretty good view. I mean, there's no... I don't have anything in my car mirror, piece of brick, Bennett's wallet, and a gun. I was gonna say, do I have, like, duct tape or something? Duct tape it to that fucking sign there? Stripped car. No graffiti. Newspaper vendor. A stock clear the Aventina stop predicts unpresented returns for investors. Run, don't walk to your broker and tell him to buy. Just 325 to read more. That's bullshit. 
This is bullshit. This is bullshit. <laughs> I'm stumped. The second fucking puzzle. I just I haven't even seen anything that would be like stick out to be like, yeah, this is what you should do. Door X, da 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 trash. Smiley face, fucking sign up here. Fence. Need to find a way to watch the target. I don't know for sure he came over. Uh, I'm not climbing over unless he goes first. So, but I wouldn't be able to see. Besides. Hmm. I mean, I, I mean, I put it like. Should I be uh, combining something here? I'm not, not doing maybe. Car mirror and a brick. This should help lighten the load. Shard of mirror. Okay. Side of seven years bad luck. Okay. Well, you you're the guy. I guess that's what you. Let's have a look. Yeah, that makes that's less conspicuous. That's a pretty good view. But a guy carrying a mirror is going to stick out like a sore thumb. Gotta fix that. Okay, well, that's not the whole thing then. Better be careful waving this mirror around. It's sharp. You're fucking kidding. That's not it? I mean, I, I understand. I appreciate your dedication to realism. Those two things won't work together, huh? Bus stop. I'm not sure how this broken mirror is going to help me here. Uh. I'm like. You fucking. <laughs> uh. I'm not a very good cop. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Wait. I'm not really sure what to do with it. Oh, no shit. Uh, trash. Nope. Shot a mirror. Fence. Not gonna be much use in this situation. Uh. Wow. I think you'd be like, well, you know, they'll figure it out. But no. No. Have a look. Oh. Hmm. That's a pretty good view. But a guy carrying around a mirror is gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Gotta fix that. Well, motherfucker. Well, yeah, and then you take this and you fucking. Buy a newspaper. Do I not have money or something? Oh, his wallet's empty. Just a badge and a charge card in here. Detective badge, credit card. Uh, yeah. Newspaper. That's 325. Such a ripoff. Yeah, but we need this paper because uh, we need to have a more clever of a ruse. You see. Say, uh, shard of glass. A newspaper. Look at me, I'm like MacGyver out here. I hope Reggie's paying attention. Me too. Reggie could learn a thing or two. He's got, he's got some serious attitude problems, that Reg. Think that's Reginald? Oh yeah. <laughs> now we just wait for the fish. Hey man, perfect timing. How's this for nonchalant? Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> so you going? Oh shit! He goes into door number eleven. I've cracked the case. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. 
All right, that was. What was that? Getting the job done. By breaking orders? How many times do I have to explain to you? This isn't the military, Reggie. It's police work. Sometimes you have to make hard. <gasps> oh no! What the hell was that? It looks like a blackout. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright, it's back. I think. And it's back. All's well that ends well. I guess. Anyway, I hope you were paying attention from up there. To you, breaking regulations? <laughs> to me, adjusting <laughs> the operation's parameters based on changes in the field. Permission to speak freely, Detective Bennett? Not the military. What I saw was unnecessary, irresponsible, and hasty. We could have redeployed tomorrow with a better vantage on the alley. Reggie, these guys could have moved on by tomorrow. Sometimes you have to call an audible. Besides, I got what we needed. All's well that ends well. I'm that cop. kind of ends justify the means philosophy. Never cut it in the military. Welcome to the police force, Detective. Bennett, do you copy? <laughs> We do what we better. want. You notice that citywide blackout we just had? Looks like it's all lit up again now. Yeah, and so are the phones. We've got little mini emergencies all over Aventine, calling in all available officers to help out. What can we do? There's a subway car stuck near Humphrey Street Station, and we're getting reports of a fire over at Juno. So send the FD. They're deployed all over the city right now. We're trying to direct them where it's needed most. Could one of you check out Juno and the other help out on Humphrey Street? Radio back if additional emergency services are required. A sure thing. Thanks. Reg, you get the subway. I'll check out the fire at the lab. Yes, sir. Do it. Check out that fire. Okay, so that was that's slightly embarrassing. I probably should have been able to figure that out uh, quicker. <laughs> Alright, who now? Digital. Analog. Analog. I've gotta get this right. I better check my notes on my phone. Okay. Set up memo. Uh, goals? Delay the secretary's replacement. Borrow maintenance uniform. Pose as mainframe repairman. Get rid of secretary. Hack into mainframe. Discover purpose of mainframe. Search Antivorta files for A. Betra. Okay. Facts. Secretive medical program. Office on the seventh floor of the Aventine City General Hospital. Large mainframe computer restricted access. Receptionist leaves at 7.30 sharp. Somehow connected to a BARTA. Okay. Closed phone. There's the mainframe. There's a terminal. There's a drawer. There's a trash can. Uh, here's the secretary. Let's go see what she's doing. Uh, him. Welcome to the anti vorta project. Please state your business. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, do you want to see my... Excuse me? Who are you? Oh, uh... Hmm. Never mind. That's not ominous at all. Trash can. Um, excuse me, are you the janitor? Uh, I? Because there is a huge mess in the ladies' bathroom, and... No, I'm not the janitor. Then why are you looking through the trash? Sorry. Uh, drawer? That drawer is for anti-water users only, sir. Please don't touch it. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you are the worst. Uh, you can drag objects from your surroundings in the, in the short term memory for use in dialogue with other characters. Okay. Well, I mean. Ah, uh, him. Please state your business, sir. 
Hi, I've got a question about... Sir, what are you here about? I'm, a, uh, uh, I... <laughs> okay. Never mind. I do like this, this, it's kind of a cool mechanic. There's a trash can in the air, oh, okay. Get that out of there. Is that still in there? Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah. Hi, I've got a question about... Sir, what are you here about? I'm, a, uh, uh, I... Really? Uh, okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Please state your business, sir. Uh, terminal. I'm, uh, here to fix the mainframe. I wasn't aware that the mainframe was in need of repairs, sir. Oh, well, I was told to run some diagnostics. What with the citywide power outage and all. In that case, I'm sure you know what to do. You're looking rather pokertudinous today. <laughs> what? Pokertudinous. Characterized by or having great physical beauty and appeal. Ah. Are you attempting to woo me with an astonishingly large vocabulary, sir? Is it working? No. You look like you're in the middle of something important. I'm just writing a strongly worded email to my boss, who just asked me for his password for the 17th time. I'm informing him of where he can shove his stupid questions. Won't you get in trouble for sending emails like that? I never said I actually intended on sending it. It's a therapy exercise. Haven't you ever written an angry letter and then crumpled it up? I suppose I haven't. Trust me, it's much better than six months of anger management training. Trust me. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> uh, thanks. Thanks. I thought you were maintenance. What? Only janitors collect the garbage. Oh, I was, um, just looking for an outlet. I see. God damn it. Uh. Alright, well, we know she's writing something, and she maybe has something in the trash. Let's see how, what we've got to work with here. Enter your username. Okay. Uh, memo. Goals. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's just certainly goodbye. Uh, interesting drawer. The drawer is full of cotton swabs. I guess it couldn't hurt to have. Some. Really. Okay. Plant. Third drawer. Plant. I never had much of a green thumb. I'll just leave it alone. It's here to talk to you again. Ah, uh, him. You again? That's right, bitch. I guess we could ask her. Would you happen to have the login information for the mainframe system handy? Shouldn't you already know it, being the maintenance man and all? Yeah, but see, I got here in a hurry and sort of left it behind. Sorry, Casanova, but I can't just give that information away. Security protocols and all that. Maybe try contacting your supervisor? So what are the cotton swabs for? I assume a technician like yourself would know. I do. Just making conversation. If you're free later on, I'd love to take you out somewhere. I don't think I'll be able to fit that into my busy schedule. Come on, Emma. I'm happy to wait for an opening. What part of not interested don't you understand? Yeah, give a brother Thanks. a chance. Uh, oh wait, let me see here. I have, a, I have an idea. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? Let's see here. 
Maybe she's into art. Quite the piece on the wall there, huh? It evokes the feeling of a warm midsummer night of wine-fueled passion under the stars. It's called Blood Under a Microscope. Oh, it does kind of look like that, doesn't it? Can I have your phone number? Sure you can. It's 898-GET-BENT. Ouch. Ow. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why hey, it would. I guess yes. she leaves at 7.30. What time is it? Hmm? Say, would you happen to know what time it is? Sure, let me check. Crap, 7.30 already? Look, sir, my shift's over and I gotta get going. I don't know where the next girl is, but she should be here any minute. Something tells me she's going I'm to be delayed. I'm supposed to lock the door if I'm not here, but are you going to be okay in here alone? I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Good. Just keep an eye on the box for me and don't let anyone touch it, okay? No matter who they say they are. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, let's look through the trash can. There's just an empty pop can in there. Take it. Sure. I might find a use for this. Computer. E. Walters. I'll just keep notes of any passwords I come across in my phone. Okay. Uh, e. Walters. So we gotta find the password for E. Walters. Top drawer. Well, each serial. Which folder should I look at? See any folder in here with that label on it? Oh wait. Did I type something? E Walters. Is oh wait. Hold on. Oh, I'm such a retard. No, E Walters. Okay, I'm right. Uh, second drawer. Which folder should I look at? E. Walters. Hmm. Okay, game. Oh, are you kidding? Are you serious? E. Walters. Oh, wait, no, I'm not even. Hold on. Okay, that's not what I need to look at anyways. Uh, where's my inventory? Where's smartphone? Notes? Uh, goals? Hack into mainframe. Discover purpose of mainframe. Search, uh, A. Batra. That's what I was looking for. Okay. 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 Stop being retarded. Okay, uh, A. Patra. Although. Ugh. God damn it. Uh. Nope. There we go. There we go. Ugh. Come on. A bad. Oops. Trying to do so many things at once. I gotta check. I mean, these can't just be here for no reason. Huh. Oh, well, that's interesting. Uh, inventory password cracker. Computer. Maybe if I look closer, I can find somewhere to plug it in. Nope, inventory. USB.
Turn off your caps lock doesn't make you sound important, it makes you sound I can't remember your I can't even count how many times I've explained this to you. Please study this as carefully as uh it's front of my blouse. It's the first three letters of your first name and the first three letters of your last name. Not hard. And I can't send you your password because I don't know it. You'll have to use the system to reset it if you can't remember. And for God's sakes, do not give anyone your password. Tech support will never ask for your login information. Sincerely, hey, P.S. Equals right. P.P.S. Don't throw your aluminum cans in the non-recyclable trash can where there's a recycling bin in the hallway, you simpleton. Okay. Uh... Yeah, who sent this? Dear idiot. To A. Patterson. Dr. Patterson. Seriously, your PhD is in Clarence College? Ugh. A. Patterson. Hmm. can't remember send it right away running a bit late from Sarah my apartment my tires were slash okay approve visitors list for Sunday attention to all today's list of approved terminal users are dr. Patterson anyone else attempting to access terminal should be reported immediately I guess I could just use any of these, right? Doctor. Okay, so Arnold Arngra. Arngra. Patterson. Wait, no, today's Sunday, though. Hmm. Shit. Terminal keyboard. Fuck. Oh, I gotta do this again. Oh, really? Really? Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really? It makes you do this all over again? That's silly. Or is it seriously just password? I guess it is, right? Okay. Uh, approve visitors list for Sunday. Dr. Allen. Hmm. Dr. Allen or Arnold Gramble. Alright, Sunday, Dr. Allen. Let's see, I'm gonna guess it's. No, it's just two fucking separate things. 
A Patterson. Ooh, okay, well. Hmm. Just check real quick. Uh, Dr. Patterson. Where is it? Can't remember your. Please study this as carefully as you study the. It's the first three letters of your first name and the first three letters of your last name. Not hard. And I can't send you your password because I don't know it. I have to use the system reset if you can't remember. I don't know. I, I I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, inventory. Password crack. Sure. Okay. Empty pop can. I should smash it against my forehead, but I left the collar. These things are used for cleaning out ears, not cleaning discarded aluminum cans. I'm still not sure what purpose they're supposed to serve here, though. Hmm. This is interesting. Interesting. Okay, so I'm pretty stumped here. Uh, you know what I'm gonna try to do? So maybe this will do something. Uh, I th oh, okay, I can remember. Okay, uh, Drafts, dear idiot. We'll send it. Sent! Send it. Sent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, password cracker? Try this. Because if I sent her that him that email. Oh, okay. Okay. A B C D E F G A B C D E F G. Well, that's it's a good password. Uh, welcome, Doctor Angus Patterson. So Angus. Ang Pat. Uh, damn, he never got back to me on this. That would have made things a lot easier. From tech support sent today. This is Mitch John. Blah, blah, blah. Say we're having some issues with your antivirus login. Could you send us your login and password ASAP? Thanks, Mitch. Doo -doo. Thank you for answering my prayers. Finally, I can reclaim my late father's fortune. In return for helping me transfer the funds to America, I will give you $2 million. How quickly can... Oh, that's awesome. How's your girth? Um... Oh, that's kind of funny. Uh, super smooth, your sleeve, as long as you have to wear tights and a cape. Now I'm one feeling attracted. Race car driver? That's impressive. I'm Amy. Oh, so he's, is he creepy? That's weird. Okay, so Angpat. And what can we do here? Bam, 
Username. Uh, enter password. Log in for uh, type slash help for more info. Okay. We can do that. Options. Type log. Pass. Reset. Reset password. Exit system. See available commands. Uh, I guess we'll reset his password. Hmm. Password reset. Enter username to reset password. Dang. Password sent to email address associated with username. Okay. All right, I'm making some headway. Making some headway. Okay, so the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, is that what it was? Yes, it was. Uh, there we go. From no reply, sent today, you have a requested password reset. Okay, your password is TTZK. Please delete this email. I would if I could, but I can't. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I'm fucking stupid. It's a TTZK. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Because I'm fucking super smart. I'm super smart. Enter password. And pat. TTZK. Logging in. Insert DNA sample for verification. Oh, okay, that's not weird. And she said something about him drinking cans. I'll try swabbing the mouth of the can. You do that. Uh, try it. Enter command. Scanning DNA sample. One authentic DNA. Welcome back, A. Patterson. Enter main. Enter command. Search. Tip. Type slash help at any time to see available commands. Okay. Slash help. Uh, slash search. Okay. okay. Subroutine. See available commands. Okay. So slash. Should have known better. Search database by sample. Uh, sure. Three? Three thing? Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Angus Patterson. My god. It's a database of people's DNA. I should see if they have my DNA in here. Raymond Abbott. Everyone in the city has their DNA on file at the end of order office without their knowledge or consent. Once, once all this is all over, I'm going to win a Pulitzer Surprise for sure. Is he like a reporter? Ugh. Oh, it's gonna fucking. I know exactly what it's gonna do. I need to have my FTE. FTNN. It's like I've got a pencil and paper. Okay. I got it. Thank you. At least we got the soothing music to keep us, keep us rolling here. Okay. So let's try it again here. Two. Enter properly formatted F T N T N thing. Okay. Uh, two dash A Q dash four three four four. Searching. Name Raymond Abbott. Oh, I can't believe this. 
They have my entire DNA code in here, without my knowledge or permission. Shit, what have I got myself into? I don't know. What have you gotten yourself into? Uh... Hmm. Am I looking for Abe Betra? Sam Project Files? Maybe? Enter search criteria. A. Batra. Y N seven six nine. Sure, I'll write that down too. Y N seven six nine. End file. And maybe in that file cabinet. Goodbye. Uh, sure. Let's see. Uh, I guess I write it. Mm -hmm. And does it matter if I use cap? Y N seven six nine. Sure. Uh, do I really have to do this every fucking time? Y N seven six nine. Ah, you're a motherfucker. Which folder should I look at? YN769. Oh, shit. Found it! It's not much, but it's a start. Okay. One step closer to Mr. Batra, and one step closer to finding out exactly what the anti vorta project does. So enter is some sort of secret DNA database. I'm not yet sure what its purpose is, but I've got a lead on someone who does. A. Batra. The, the Eleven Foundation. Hmm. Better not push my luck any further. Time to make an exit before the next secretary arrives. And there he was. Totally gone. Alright, so we got one more thing here. One more thing to do. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, so I accidentally uh, stopped recording. But... Ooh, homeless man. Uh, yeah, so this guy got on this bus, this woman dropped this coin, and he was just like, oh, here's your chance. You should go talk to her, man. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pick up a coin first. Mm. Inventory. Doesn't really do anything by itself. It's, I'd really rather not. Uh. Yeah. Um, excuse me? Sorry, I'm really busy. I don't want to be rude, but I've got to read these reports for work. Oh. Oh, it's just that. Did you drop this? <laughs> oh my god. Bingo, baby. Here's that coin. Get that coin Thank action. Thank you so much. I can't believe I dropped it. If you hadn't picked it up, I... <laughs> it's more than just a regular coin, I take it? You could say that. Look, sorry I tried to brush you off there. It's just... You run into a lot of creeps on the subway, and... Right, I understand. It's special, then? The coin? I guess it's kind of my lucky charm. It's kept me out of trouble for almost 20 years, so I guess that's something. Okay. Hmm. Twenty years? Twenty years? You kept a coin for that long? Yeah, I guess I just got kind of attached to it. No, I mean, I would have lost it ages ago. I lost a car once. <laughs> oh, How he's... does one lose a car? He's a Long funny story. guy. I'm too absent-minded. That coin wouldn't last a week in my pocket. Especially if I kept taking it out and fiddling with it like you do. I do that? Stupid bitch. Oh, uh, what I meant was, you know, I see you on this train almost every day, and I just happen to notice. I promise I'm not like a stalker or anything. Except I am. <laughs> alright, alright. You're right, though. I do fiddle with it, don't I? Yeah. Well, yeah. I would have lost yeah. it today if you hadn't picked it up for me. 
I guess I really lucked out this time. I'm glad I could help. Where'd you get the coin? Well... Oh, never mind. Forget I said anything. I mean, you're probably looking for some way to escape this conversation, and here I am asking personal questions. No, I appreciate the conversation. I just... the coin is just something I'd rather not talk about. Alright, baby. We got, uh... I actually don't believe in luck. You don't? Well, see, the universe is pretty much governed by laws, right? Take flipping a coin, for example. Yeah. If you hit heads five times in a row, you might feel pretty lucky. But mathematically, that's just as likely as any other possible outcome. Our brains are trained to find patterns and ascribe meaning to them. Believing in the coin's inherent luck might make you more receptive to the positive events in your life. Dude's or a equally likely, having the coin gives you extra confidence, which feels like luck. Either way, it's just your brain seeing patterns where there aren't any. I'm rambling, aren't I? Maybe you're right. Maybe it is silly and superstitious. But I don't understand why ascribing meaning to things is so wrong. I never said it was wrong, per se. I'm sorry. I'm a mathematician. Better with numbers than with people. I spend enough time with numbers Nerd. and I tend to see everything as an equation. I can imagine. Anyway, I, I hope I didn't upset you or anything like that. Like I said, I'm bad with people. Sorry. No, it can't be the end. Uh... Sure. I think she wants to hear about that. Alright. That's your stop coming up, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you said you weren't a stalker? Well... I'm not. I just noticed. Yes, I'm off at the next stop. Next stop, Aventine Central Hospital. Ooh. Will you stand clear of the doors? Right on cue. Okay, that went well. I guess Good I'll see me. you around. Thanks again. No problem. I'm Ed. Anna. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Look at that. But, 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 but. The doors will now close. Please stand clear of the doors. <laughs> Alright, Ed. Making some headway in our personal lives. Yes. Just you and me now. <laughs> Just me and this bum. Hmm. Uh oh. What the? What the duck? What's going on? Oh, this is when the blackout happened. Because I didn't do things in the correct order. Not good. Not good. Some kind of power surge. Thank God for emergency brakes and lights. Homeless man. Um, sir? Wake up. There's been some problem with the train. Hello? <laughs> In fact, you probably won't even notice. Movie poster litter. That seems like a waste of energy right now. I don't think peeling off a poster of this wall is going to help me. Probably not. Probably not it. Pole? It's fairly solid. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it out. Litter? I'd really rather not. Okay, so we found a pole. Another movie poster. More litter. It doesn't want anything to do with. Pole? One of these is probably loose, right? Subway doors. Hmm. Pole. <laughs> I don't know either. Movie poster? Subway doors. What do I got in my inventory? Nothing. I'm 
going to destroy them. My research, the data, the results. I'm destroying it all. But resonance? The potential for good far outweighs the possibility of misuse. You can't <laughs> deprive the world of such... Danger? Someone's been following me, Eddings. I know it. Hmm. Thank you so much. I can't believe I drew- It's more than just- I guess yeah, it's kind yeah, of my- yeah, It's kept yeah, me out of yeah. trouble for almost 20 years. Okay. Subway doors and poles. Poles that don't go anywhere. It's fairly solid. I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it out. So we got to get this homeless dude maybe to help me? Drugs, movie posters, litter. Litter, litter. So you got litter. I'd really rather not. Um, sir? Wake up. There's been some problem with the train. Hello? Guess it'll be fine until... In fact, you probably won't even notice. Well... Hmm. This is quite the conundrum. I'd really rather not. Okay... Uh, I mean, I guess I gotta get a pole so I can pry that fucking door open, right? It's fairly solid. <sighs> um, wake up. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Inventory, nothing. Nothing. Just one guy. Nope. What in tarnation? Subway doors. Maybe if I had more lever. Yeah, no shit, man. Let me figure that out. I don't think peeling that off is gonna help. Is there like a way to kick it or something? Oh, wait, 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 here we go. Loose bar. That's kind of a uh, hard to see. Pipe. Let's take it. Subway doors. Yeah, that's right. Magic. There we go. Darkness. Hey. Hey. Maybe they'll have sobered up by the time the help arrives. Here goes nothing. Into the darkness. Okay. There we go. Hmm. Some sort of graveyard. Dad, look. look. Isn't that Juno Labs? No. Oh, that was all just for the t opening titles. Very nice. By Vince 12. I've heard of you, Vince. Dun dun dun. Well, I think that's a good place to leave off this one. Um, if you would like to see more of this game uh just give us a like let me know in the comments i'll keep playing it i'll keep playing it recording it anyways uh, i'm gonna keep playing it anyways regardless but uh yeah this is a pretty cool game very fun very cool love these kind of old school point and click adventure games and i actually really like the mechanics of it as well it's uh it's kind of intuitive and like you know now that i'm, I'm kind of getting the, the hang of things kind of learning the language of the puzzles and the game, uh, it'll probably be a little bit smoother. Hopefully I won't make so many boneheaded fucking mistakes. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Alright, thanks a lot guys. Goodbye.